All right, God bless your hearts real good. Once again, this is the servant of Jesus Christ. Coming up to you one more time. Giving you the words of Jesus. Give it. Do you not know that the apostles and the prophets and the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers taught the same thing Jesus taught? They didn't teach nothing different. They taught the same thing. All right. That being said, every God, God knows every sin. Every sin God anointed us and sent us to preach the gospel and preach the word without compromise. Especially publicly on social media. As a matter of fact, but even but look, you all don't know this, but we was on radio. I got on radio. I paid my own money, fifty five dollars, and it was in the early nineties. I got on radio, cut my tape. And as a matter of fact, and I'm going to give credit where credit is due, I went to uh, uh, the pastor of a temple church of God Christ, David. Uh, I think he was pastor at that time. Yeah. David Hall, David Allen Hall, went to him, and I went... <laughs> And I went to the Church of God in Christ publishing house, his office. And I used, he had me, he had let me use his. He had a Morant's tape recording. Just for the record, I, I recorded a lot of, well, some of the convocations at Mason Temple in Cook Convention Center a year ago, but nevertheless. But David Allen Hall, he said, come to my office and you, you my stuff. And we, we cut the tape in his office at the Church of God Christ Publishing House, downtown. Uh-huh. Now, and we took that tape to... Radio station KWAM 990. And that tape was played, and I paid my own money, $55. And that tape was played on uh, the day after Christmas. Uh-huh. My God. Before that, we 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 had a little small spot on a television advertising. Advertising the church. We had a small spot on that. Praise God. We went out to the neighborhood and knocked on doors. Went to the hospitals. Went to the prisons. Stood on the street corner with loudspeakers. Preached in several churches. Ah, oh, God, yeah, yeah. If people realize, wait a minute, it'd be something different. If we begin to get opposition, wait a minute. Where, where did, what is that you preach? Church of God Christ don't teach it. Bishop don't teach it. Apostle don't teach it. We preach the word of God that go against all that. Then came, see, see, I'm not new to it. I'm true to it. Before social media, we were doing the same thing. We know we were knowledge, knowledgeable. 
in the word as we are now. No, we were not. But our heart was right. And we still were preaching repentance and admission of sin. Oh, yeah, we still were doing that. Praise God. So before, this is stop on social media. My God, even, even, even in the chat, I remember the first time we went forward, we went forward in Sunday school, in the Sunday school class, or elder. Man, I didn't know, I was a new, let's call a baby say. Man, I didn't know you had all that in you. Yeah. Much more we can say. <laughs> But we've been doing the way of God and preaching the God. And we, we've gotten opposition where, where we really start getting deep in the word. Line item, line item, line. Wait a minute. Bible say this. But pastor doing this and bishop doing this and presiding bishop doing this. And my pastor doing this, and your pastor doing this. Wait, but the Bible says this. Had someone tell me, uh, don't, don't fight set things. Quit teaching against set things. Set things going to send you to hell. Good Lord. We teach the word of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. As it is written, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I did I did color tape here, did a video here. I'm, yeah, I'm <laughs> Whew, I'm thinking I'm on the same video. Nevertheless, but we got opposition. Someone asked me, "What Bible you read from?" People that came to say, "Well, show me in the Bible." We 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 were we were you know we preached in the street and everything. And uh one young lady, she called us that smart. Come and say something to me. And we went and gave the goblin when we left, she was in tears. She was in tears. Because the kingdom of God came down to her. Praise God. We, we go all, but we we we've been working with Jesus. Let me give a date. Since August of 1982, working for Jesus in his vine yard, in the harvest, wherever the harvest is, outside the four walls, inside the four walls, wherever. Hallelujah. Do a Thanksgiving dinner, crumble dinner. We could go on, but hallelujah. But we got much opposition concerning the, the doctrine. What new thing is this, this you preach? This is not a new thing. The problem is, I, I, I think I, well, I said it on the other table. The problem is, you have not been taught proper. Yes, you save and sanctify, fill with the Holy Ghost, speak in other tongues, and the Spirit give you husband. You repent of your sin and live it all, you know how. But you haven't been taught right. You hold the office of a bishop and presiding bishop and chair lady and supervisor of women and auxiliary bishop and elder and apostle and whatever, evangelist. You haven't been taught proper. Now if your heart right when the word of God come, you go, hey, hey, you gonna grab gravitate to it and grow. I wanna deal with my doctrine. Let go straight to it. Let go straight to Jesus. John chapter 7 and verse 16. My, my doctrine. 
Yeah, they, he, he, I told him in my church, I was preaching one Friday night, hallelujah. I told the pastor and everybody, and I held up this Bible. It's, it's on video somewhere on Facebook. I held up this Bible. I say, this is the only doctrine right here. I looked up at the pulpit, held it to the hill, held it to the hole. I say, this is the only doctrine right here. Ain't no sense. The doctor of church, God, Christ, Methodist, doctor, Baptist, doctor, apart. No, 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 no. This is the only doctrine right here. And all scripture is given at that uh, Timothy 3 19, I believe it is. And all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. The dog that I preach, hallelujah, and not with enticing words of man with, nor will I talk to man. All right. John 7, hallelujah. Actually, it's Friday when I'm doing this. Now, when you all get this, it will, I'm not, did my thinking, it will probably be Tuesday, Tuesday, when you all get when you all seeing this, it's Friday live when I'm doing this. But you all realize this is Tuesday. <laughs> so it is pre-recorded. My doctrine. Somebody asked me what Bible you read now though. How you come and preach to get tired at all? Saying tired at all ain't no law required. How you come saying Jesus, Jesus Christ is the Son of God and not God? How you come saying God didn't come down here and Jesus is not God, but he's the Son of God? And, and, and Jesus and, and God didn't come to his earth, but his son Jesus came to his earth. How are you saying you ain't got a soul, no seed, but no milk? How are you saying don't have registration fee? How will you say it don't have no no anniversary of wishing to for no pastor? All wishing to go to God. Why are you saying all that stuff that we've been doing all that stuff? Because I'm teaching here. Here, why? All right. Seven. My God. <laughs> and I hope I got the. I'm sorry. That's it. That John seven, John seven sixteen. Read. Let's start with fourteen, and I want to show you you. Now, John chapter seven verse fourteen. Now about the midst of the feast. You know, when you're eating and feasting and banqueting and all that. Oh, we we taught him, we taught, we taught him, we taught the word of God at Thanksgiving feast. Then past Thanksgiving. <laughs> now, about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. Then he went to the temple and taught. We teach in temple in the temple. We are teaching your house. We are teaching your street. We are teaching on the telephone. We are teaching the car. He went up into the temple and taught. And the Jew marveled, and just like y'all, Church of God in Christ, Baptist, Methodist, Posse, Episcopal, whatever. And the Jew marveled, saying. How know what this man let us have and never, never learn? How, how, how he know the law? He didn't learn. We didn't teach him. So how he know that? Jesus answered them and said, watch this. My doctrine is not mine. The same thing I'm telling you. My doctrine is not mine. But he that sent me, my doctrine is he that sent me. Wait a minute. That was Jesus talking. He talking about God to him. That's true. And the same God that sent him, he sent me. 
You didn't know that? I want John 20, 21. Mm -hmm. My God. This is what Jesus wrote. John 20, 21. And then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. And my Father hath sent me. Evil so send I you. You see that? He sent me. How can he hear without a preacher? How can he preach and be sent? Go get all the way and preach the God to every creature. He that believes in baptized shall be saved. He that believes not shall be dead. Luke 24, and that repentance. Luke chapter 24 and verse 7. And that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name. That means by him. You got to repent. Your sin taken away by Jesus Christ in his name. Among all nations, but get it in the room. Mm -hmm. Now back to John chapter 7, verse 16. My doctrine is not mine, but him that sent me. That's why I talk like I do. And talk against your pastor, your bishop, and my pastor, and my bishop too. And your church, and my church, and your organization, my organization too. If any man will do his will, now if you're going to do the Father's will, remember, remember Jesus say, be ye therefore perfect, your Father head perfect. If any man do his will, he shall know of the dark, then you will know the dark. Whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself, am I speaking of myself or am I speaking of God? Was Jesus speaking of himself or was he speaking of, of his father? Am I speaking of myself or am I speaking of God? I'm not speaking of myself. 18. He that speaking of himself seek his own glory. Yeah, you know, you, you know, you know, that, by, they, that knocks out the pastor right there. They ain't tell you what Jesus said. They ain't tell you what they say. Well, let me go to Hebrew. Well, the Greek word. In the Hebrew word. Well, you need to understand. Well, you can't take it literally. So see for your miracle. God still requires time long. Can God trust you with 10%? Those your words. That's not Jesus' words. That's not the Father's word. That's your doctrine. Jesus is not the Son of God. That's your doctrine. Those your words. You seek your own glory. Well, my bishop said, he that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. But he that seeketh his glory that sent him the same is true, and no one right is it here. I seek the glory of God and of Jesus Christ who sent me. That's the glory I seek, not yours, not mine. Did not Moses give you the law and none of you keep it the law? Why go you about to kill me, you hypocrite? Why are you seeking to kill Jesus? Then the people that are saying, thou have a devil. Uh -huh, that, that God, that, that what you say about me, uh, he got the wrong spirit. He don't show no love. He don't show no much. My God, you do that, God, no. You say I got the devil. My spirit ain't right. I got a fighting spirit. I call the vision. That what you say about me, the same thing you say about Jesus. Who going about to kill you? When, when I when I tell you the persecution I got, then you gonna play part, play play uh, 
Ain't, ain't nobody ain't nobody seeking to kill you. Uh, you know what you did. You know you try to stop me. Don't let me go in detail. And some some thought they were slick, and, and, I, and, I, and I went to uh, the second in command, and he told me. He said, "I don't know why they did that. I, I could go in detail, never let." The people as they said, thou have a devil who goes about to kill you. Jesus as said to them, I have done one work in ye all marvel. Moses gave you circumcision, not because it was a Moses, but on the part. And ye on the Sabbath day circumcised a man. If a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken. Are ye angry with me because I have made a man and withhold on the Sabbath day? Jesus healed the man on the Sabbath day. You mad? What you mad at? You were circumcised on the Sabbath day. You did some wet. <sighs> my doctrine is not my name, but him that sent me. All right, let me go here. Acts 17, 19. Man, this is all right. What time are you looking at? Hallelujah. Acts 17, 19, and they took him, then we better, we better back up, back up verse 16. Now while Paul waited for them at Athens, his spirit was stirred in him, my spirit gets stirred. When he saw the whole, the, the city holy given to our daughter, my spirit gets stirred when I see the False prophets in the church, sanctified, holy church. When you're not walking according to the word of God, my spirit stood. Paul even went in uh, when he went to the ruler, he, 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 he confronted Peter because he didn't walk up right according to the scripture. Spirit stood. My spirit stood. When I see all, all your churches, even the churches we I grew up in, in a part of now, excuse me, given over to idolatry. It's idolatry. It's idolatry. Witchcraft, soup saying, Dr. the Balaam. Saying, so see for your miracle. Saying, God still requires time and law. Give it over. My spirit is stood. And by it being stood, I'm a, what I'm going to do about it? I'm not going to hate you. What I'm going to do about it? Therefore, disputed he in the synagogue with the Jew. Yeah, I'm a dispute with you, you hypocrite. Yeah, I'm a dispute with you. I'm, a, you that know, I'm coming on your page when you say something wrong concerning the scripture, and I'm going to correct you. Yeah, I'm a dispute with you. And with devout person, you that got a high reputation, I'm disputing with you. The spirit against your idolatry and your false doctrine. And your false prophet you got in the poor pit. And in the market and in the market, in the marketplace. Daily with them that met with him. You, you won't talk to me? Come meet me. I, I, I put the invitation out, I put the invitation out there in my chair. Let's sit down and talk. Bring you by. Let's sit down and talk. You can call me on the phone. You had no me pray. You can call me on the phone. We can talk. My God. Then certain philosophers and Epicureans and of the Stoics encountered him and said, What will this babbler say? What, what are you going to say now? My God, take the word of God and make all of your life. Try me. Other 
song, he seemed to be a setup for the strange god. Uh, he got he he got another he got he, he got other gods. Other gods sent him here because he preached unto them Jesus and the resurrection. That's why I preach to you Jesus and the resurrection. That's why I preach to you Jesus and the resurrection. And that means salvation is through Jesus. And not no offering in tithe and Sabbath day and circumcision and tabernacle and preach. But by faith and repentance and call on his name. You see all kinds of things about it. Man, because he preached unto them Jesus. And the resurrection. And they took him and brought him unto a red pocket. Bring me to your bishop. And you watching me? Call me in question. And bring your Bible. And hopefully you'll get saved. <laughs> Saying, may we know what this new doctrine, where I'm not speaking of, Come, come to me. I, I said I would. For thou bringest certain strange things in our ear. That's the condition. You're bringing strange things in our ear. It should be strange. Man, this is good. That's what they say about me. We would know therefore what these things mean. And all the Athians and strangers which, which were there spent their time in nothing else but either tell or hear some new thing. You know, folk won't hear new things. Folk want a new rainbow word. God ain't giving no rainbow word. He already spoke. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. He already spoke. And Paul is still in the midst of my hill and said, ye men of Agai, but see, 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 here one thing you know about this story. They asked to hear. They gave him invitation to speak. They wanted to hear. He stood in the midst of my and said, ye men of Agai, but see, all things you too superstitious. Well, I pay and buy and behave your love on the ground all within the scripture of the unknown God. Whom therefore you enter in which of him I declare unto you. God that made the world of all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelling in nine temple made by hand. He don't dwell in temple made by hand. God made us in the temple. No, he did. The Bible says, Jesus say, Lord, I be with you always. All right. Needed worship with men's hand, as though he needed it that he ain't worship with men's hand. You ain't giving God nothing. See, he gives it to all life and breath for all and all things. And with one, one blood may he all neighbor men for to dwell on all things of the earth. And had determined the time for appointed in the bound of their habitation. That they shall seek the Lord in all these in all these different habitations. They want to seek the Lord. No matter where you at, God fixed it and told you to seek him. If happily they might feel out to him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us, he's not far from you. The kingdom of God is nigh thee. Believe the gospel we preach. Obey, repent, believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God, a lie, his blood for admission of your sin. If you call on him, repent, call on him, he'll take away your sin. He'll give you his spirit. For in him we live, move, and have our bed. As certain also of your poor have said that we are his offspring. 
For it must be that we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold, silver, stone, graven by art and man of life. God is not an image, not even the cross around your neck. It's not an image and it's not a symbol. Somebody say, oh, it's a symbol. Where they said in the Bible that, that the cross is a symbol. If it was a thief on, on one cross, at the time of this ignorance, when you were doing that, which was these things, God winked at. It, but now command all men everywhere to repent. What do wink at me? That don't mean that he overlooked it. That means he was long suffering to you. He gave you a chance. He didn't wipe you out. He didn't kill you. He gave you a chance. Praise God. <clears throat> because he appointed a day in which he would judge the world and write it by that man who he had ordained. And that man is Jesus. Whereof he has given assurance all men is that he had raised him from the dead. And when they heard of the resurrection, they had some mocked. Others said, We will hear again of this man. Again, man. We'll hear you again. And we, okay, we'll talk, we'll, we'll talk later. How be it certain men claim unto him and believe among them was. Dionysius, the Arab Pagite, and a woman named Demarius, and other with him. Some believe. We preach the God, but God knows some gonna believe. All right, the doctrine. And if you go back to the something, the apostles doc. The apostles preach the same thing: Christ, the Son of God, resurrected. Hallelujah! Repentance every middle of sin. He'll take away your sin. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who's alive. Go to Acts 2 38 and back all the way up to Acts 2 and read the whole message. The Son of God. That's the doctor we preach. And the only way to be saved is through the Son of God. All right, we'll leave right there. That's the doctrine. That's the doctrine. All right. Thank you for very